In this quick start video, we're going to show you how to process a refurb inside of Synchro. Before we get started, let's talk about what the refurb manager is. The refurb manager is a way for you to take a product you either purchased or recycled from a client or an existing product in your inventory that you may want to clean up, exchange parts out of, or just generally get prepared to sell and account for all of the cost behind that and have it included in the average cost for specific instance of a product. So with that said, let's get into it. Now, the refurb manager has its own tab and that can be turned on in the tabs customization section of admin. Once you've done that and you've come to the refurb tab, you can start a new one by clicking new refurb. Or if you have a specific product and you're on the product page, you can scroll down to the product instances section and there is a wrench icon on a per row basis that you can quickly create a refurb for a specific product. I think many people will do it this way or they'll send a product to refurb from customer purchase if you bought the product from a client or you're recycling it. So let's click the wrench. On the new refurb page, you're gonna be prompted to say what you're fixing. Um, in this case, let's just say LCD broken and hit start refurb. Once you've hit the start refurb button, you will be brought to what we call the refurb detail screen. The upper left are details about the refurb. On the upper right is where you can add products from your existing inventory or create one-time part orders. The middle section is where the product you are working on will be listed and below that are line items and notes. Line items being things you've added from the inventory so that you can account for what's been added to this refurb. So again, we said the LCD is broken here, so let's type in grab an LCD screen and hit use item in refurb. When you do that, the line item will appear and this instance in your inventory will set to reserved because it's being used here so it can't be accidentally sold. Something you'll notice while you're adding things to the product is the current total cost will adjust based on what's added here. So because I added a $20 cost screen, the adjusted cost is now 820. Something that some people tend to forget too is the labor time behind it. So let's say I spent an hour replacing it. Maybe, maybe I'm just really quick at what I'm doing. And you can see here by adding the hour, the cost adjusted again. Once you're done, you can hit complete and move to stock. And when you do that, the adjusted cost for this product will get updated so that when you sell this specific one, it will reflect as 835 instead of the original cost of 800. That way you get a true cost of what it was for you to refurbish and handle and purchase that particular product. Hope everyone enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one.